Pusheen and my ginger mood cat are contenders for question 5, but now the prize goes to something else. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cat, and it's time for a tag. In this case, your answers can't be books. The original tag was by BookBuds, and I will link their channel in the description below. Question 1. What is something that you own way too many of other than books? Possibly yarn. I have a big box of yarn for crochet and I haven't done any crochet in quite some time, so that box is just sitting there, staring at me accusingly from time to time. Actually all the time because I have to walk past it whenever I go into this room to work, but you know, it's just sitting there. The other option would be Steam games. So many unplayed games. And so many good or interesting games coming out all the time. Question 2. What is something fun that you do that is not reading? Oh, plenty of things. I write myself and I'm currently working on getting my first book published. Beginning of next year, likely, I have to book a line editor and organize a cover and finally finish my last round of dev edits, but... Developmental edits are painful, let me tell you. Rewriting all the time is just exhausting. I like to draw and paint. I play a lot of video games. I also stream on Twitch, currently only on Sundays and only until I figured out which platform to move to. But for now you can find me on Twitch on Sundays where I build in Sims 4. I also enjoy board games or tabletop games. I tend to play Adeptus Titanicus with my boyfriend and I'm painting my own set of titans at the moment and it's so slow. There's so many details on those figures. I'm going with the Legio Modexis pattern or color scheme and I'm still on my first one but it's almost done. Question three. What is something special or important on your nightstand that isn't a book? I have virtually nothing on my nightstand because my nightstand is the step the cat takes to get onto the wardrobe if she really wants to go there. She also just likes to walk over it and push things off anyway, so there's nothing but my closed water bottle and books on the night shelf, but in the drawer I have this little dude which is supposed to hold my glasses, except their design doesn't allow for it. <laughs> well, whenever I get a new set, maybe I'll find one that actually fits in here. And then he still has to be in the nightstand, because Cleo. Question 4. What's something that you buy at a bookstore other than books? That's tricky. I try not to buy physical books anyway. I'll try to limit how much stuff I have in this house. And I don't tend to buy anything else in there, really. I think the closest thing would be stationery, maybe. I do like washi tape and I have to refrain from buying more of it because whenever it is really pretty, I don't want to use it because it's so pretty. And when it's, say, ugly enough for me to use it, I'm like, I don't want this in my bullet journal either. So, yeah. Well, the second one is obviously from sets, you know, where you don't get to pick all of them. And notebooks. Notebooks on the stationery section. Oof. I have to hold back on notebooks as well. Question 5. What's a fun gift that you received that isn't a book or a gift card for books? Well, like I pointed out in the beginning, Pusheen and the Ginger Mood Cat are fun gifts from my boyfriend. But the price goes to this guy, because we can't have a dog at the moment. Like, you know, if it's not plague times, then we'd be out of the house for work for like 10 to 12 hours some days and that's not really ideal for a dog. Our cat doesn't really care. She sleeps 18 hours a day or 16, whatever. She, she doesn't care. But the dog would probably suffer a bit. So this is the closest to a corgi I can have at the moment. I can also barely see the eyes sometimes, but this is Tucker, named after the corgi from the Mrs. Murphy series. Question 6. What's a YouTube channel that you watch that is not related to books? I'd say Cindy Gunther Baldo. She reviews planners, creates bullet journal setups and art in general. 
and she's really fun to listen to. She likes to swear quite a bit and I don't know, it just makes me like her more. I will link her channel in the card. Last question would be to tag five booktubers that I want to learn more about. Problem is, a lot of people I follow on booktube have already done this tag. So if you are on booktube and you feel like doing this tag, please feel free to do so and consider yourself tagged. But I'm not going to name specific people. I'd have to go through my subscription list and I think 80% of people have done this already. Which also means I'm not following enough booktube channels yet. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back next week with another video and a new read along is coming up too. I pulled a title out of a hat and we're going to read something else on this channel. And I am doubtful that I will enjoy it much more than the Cyborg Tinker. <laughs> like and subscribe if you want to help this channel out and do the tag if you create videos on YouTube as well. And I'll see you soon. Bye guys!